this course, we studied the importance of the dimensional analysis and similarity. The use of dynamic similarity let us reproduce on a scale model the same flow patterns that we will have on the full scale object. In this way, the performance of the real object can be extrapolated from the results obtained on the scale model. Dynamic similarity can be achieved when all the relevant dimensionless parameters are the same for the full scale object and its scale model. Dimensionless parameters can be derived in two different ways. One way is to non-dimensionalize the governing equations. In the process, different dimensionless parameters arise naturally in the equations, and each one has its specific physical meaning. The non-dimensional form of the equations tells us that the solution of a specific problem is valid for a class of similar problems. As long that the dimensionless parameters have the same values. The other way to obtain dimensionless parameters is to analyze a specific problem, define the relevant quantities that describe it, and apply the Buckingham Pi theorem. Depending on the problem, a specific number of dimensionless parameters can be defined. However, this procedure does not provide the physical significance of the dimensionless groups.